with me. All the way. Is that all we're getting for Vader? Are you are you serious? Okay. See, I see Disney, y'all, y'all. You let me down. That, that, that's it. Salt. This is the David Effect. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope everyone is enjoying their evening. Watching the Olympics. Doing stuff, you know. It's a big deal. The new uh, Rogue One trailer came out uh, this evening. And um, I just wanted... I, I was I was going to wait. But I was sitting here. My camera staring in my face. Had to have my goofy hat on. It's this it. So I thought I'd just throw out my initial thought of the trailer. I watched it like three or four times. I just, I watched it over, I was like, because my first initial reaction is, is that. So I had to watch it again just to make sure it wasn't just like, eh, I'm tired. It's kind of been a long day. Maybe I'm just not hype out enough. Maybe that's what it is. And no, I went, so I, I watched it again and again and again. And, <laughs> um... Really? Is that all the Vader we're gonna get? Really? He's not the big reveal. I, I, I here's the thing. All right, Disney. I never, I never got to say what I really felt about Episode Seven, The Force Awakens, because everyone was all like, "To the moon." I have, I have a friend of mine who's a big Star Wars guy. Actually, a couple of friends, but the one I, I went with, and he was like, like. Let's let's save the world, you know, one pair of underpants at a time. And I was like, slow down, slow down. We have not confirmed if Finn is Lana Calrissian's son. We have not confirmed. Anyways, the point is, is that <laughs> I thought seven was good. I just thought it was it was too much of too much recycled stuff from four. And that's why I was like, eh, I, I wasn't blown away. It wasn't like, I want to, like, get a lightsaber and a little soccer ball and put a droid on it and call it mine. I didn't do it. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like doing that after I watched it. Um, so I was kind of, and then when they had announced that one of the next Star Wars films that was coming out, like, later this year was Rogue One, and it was taking place in between three and four. And yes, I know... Bothans died later. I got corrected for that. The point is, there were still some dead Bothans. And I still think Suzu should be in this one. Say hello, Suzu. Just be in this one. But, but anyways, um, I feel like, well, after watching this one, like the first one, we got the first one. It's like, cool, it's got setting things up. We got an idea that she's... You know, we're gonna have a crew, and she's doing all this stuff. And, you know, it's gonna be sick. You know, she's gonna get the, the plans of the Death Star. They got the weapon. They gotta learn how to break it. You know, throw a wrench in it, try to break it and stuff. I get that. We got that. But in this one, you're supposed to get a, a deeper idea of who these characters are. They're going to be doing this really big task that literally sets up Episode Four, which is the beginning of a lot of people's exposure to the Star Wars universe. It was for for a lot of people that grew up before me. When I was a kid, that's all that's what I knew, four, five, and six. 
that's what I knew. So this movie is pivotal to the story that's set up in four. You know, so you you want to know who was involved, wh- you know, why they get involved, what size shoe do they wear, and let's watch the movie. But for some reason in this movie, I mean, clearly she was um she's a criminal because they talked about you know taking off the cuffs so she can do this do this and see she can do the mission. And apparently she's rebellious. I guess that, that's the whole that's the whole point, isn't it? And that she's got this crew that she's put together to go do this this in all in all honesty a suicide mission. Let's be real. You're 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 going to steal the plans of from the Empire. Spoilers. If anyone doesn't know that what this is about, let's be real. Um, I just feel like it was kind of bland. I mean, they exposed, they exposed, they revealed the Ewing, which we, <laughs> Ewing. <laughs> the more I keep saying Ewing, all I can think of is Patrick Ewing. The Ewing, and that was cool. You got, you know, the cool versions of the new, uh, of those current, Star Destroyers were kind of updated compared to what they look like in like four, five, and six. They kind of made them cleaner and, and still look like it, but you could tell they're different a little bit. You know, the Death Star, brand spanking new, year one Death Star. So I get it, but my problem is, it, at the end of the trailer, you get a a back of the head shot of, of Vader, and I'm like, why did we get a back of the head shot of Vader? Where's how come Vader has not been in through this entire trailer hunting these people down because they know they're up to something? I feel like there's something missing here. We're missing... He's He exists, you know, so why is he not more involved? How come he's not telling everybody what brand of coffee they should be drinking? Punch a kid in the head because he's not wearing a um, an Empire t-shirt, you know? How come they don't have the hollow net up on the Empire's, like, propaganda videos you know stuff like that where's he at for that i don't see him where is he right i just i don't know i feel like it's like the fact that they got the back of a head the head of him was like they're they like taking pictures and they're like vader 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 and when they took it, he turned around was like oh sorry man we were supposed to get you but you didn't turn around in time well well we'll edit it we'll edit it we'll edit it that's what it looked like so um it's look it looks uninspired I mean, they had all these huge, crazy scenes in there, like they're escaping through, a, looks like a collapsing planet, and all this cave and stuff, and there's gunfire and explosion, and Donnie Yen's a blind force-using guy, and, and Forrest Whitaker's touching things, and apparently Jimmy Smith is supposed to come back as Bale, which is fine, but it just, and I, I feel like it wasn't inspiring enough. I didn't feel like, I was like, I gotta see this movie, let me throw a chair through a window because I gotta see this movie. I didn't feel it. And I'm, I'm sorry... I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, maybe the third trailer, because we all know how the third trailers are. I get, I'll get inspired. The first one got me. This one, I'm like, eh. it, it feels like the same, the kind of the same tone and vibe from the first one. They just added a couple of more things, a little more dialogue, and it was just like, let's inspire, and it wasn't inspiring. And I was like, all right. And Vader literally just didn't show up. I think he. He he left his keys in the bathroom before he went to the, his uh his uh tie interceptor because he has he he has a special fighter and he didn't show up for the for the shoot. I'm sorry. I just I, I have I just <laughs> so this is a House of Darkner just doing off the cuff initial re, uh, you know response to the the second trailer for Star Wars Rogue One. Don't hate me. I love Star Wars. Several times for cosplay for school, I was I was a black Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. So I love this stuff, and I just I just I just don't I don't I don't know. <laughs> this one didn't really get me. It didn't get me. Seven, I was like, yeah. This one, I'm like, uh, it's a Star Wars movie. So I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not like super excited. Hopefully, they'll get me pumped up a little more. And then we will, I will still go see it. And when it comes out in December, I'm going to go see it. But right now I'm like not ripping off my clothes and like, you know, where's my saber? You know, I didn't do all that, you know, like stuff like that. Cause I'm not that inspired about the movie. So I'm sorry. Um, if you like my video, if you don't, if you don't agree, just hit me in the face with a, uh, with a comment and then we'll go from there. Uh, so this is the house of darkner once again, signing off. Oh, and, uh, Hashtag Mace Windows Alive. Hashtag 
Mace Windu's life. <laughs> you can't see my mics right here, so I'm like, I'm, that's why I'm dipping low. I look, I look like I need to do it. Like, I tried to have it. My mic's right, right here. So, anyways, see you. I'm going to have to talk to some of these writers. <laughs>